One of your main interface options to use to get to all of the commands in AutoCAD is the ribbon. Now the ribbon is this big giant toolbar here at the top of your screen. It's your main source of commands and drawing tools. It groups similar commands together inside tabs and then inside panels. It also groups the commands by workflow, meaning that the commands in a tab or a panel are often executed in a series. The ribbon is made up of tabs. Here we have the Home tab, the Insert tab, Annotate tab, and so on. You access the tools in a tab by left-clicking on the tab. The main tab is the Home tab. This is where most of your work is going to be done. This tab has several commands in it that are used regardless of your design industry or project. These commands are also amongst the most commonly used. Each tab has a panel. The panels contain the commands and tools that you're going to use. Panels, like the tabs, are grouped by similar commands. For example, the Draw panel here in the Home tab has the commands in it that you need to draw lines, polylines, arcs, circles. As you can see here, the Line command, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, center ellipses, and other items. If you look at the Annotation panel, you'll see here you can create dimensions, leaders, tables, and text. To switch between tabs, you click the tab that you want to work in. So click Insert, so then click on the Insert button to use the Insert command. If you aren't sure which command icon is for which command, just hover over it, as you probably have seen. This will pop up a balloon called a tooltip. And if you hold it there for a little bit longer, an expanded tooltip will show up, giving you more information about that command, tool, or setting. These are very handy, especially when you're first learning to use AutoCAD. The tooltips will give you the name of the command and a short description of it. If you want to learn more about the command, there is a link inside a lot of the tooltips to get you to the help screen. Or as you hover over any one of these tools, press the F1 key to bring up the help system for that specific command. Some of the panels collapse, meaning that they shrink so as to give you more room on your screen. If I go to the Home tab, you can see a lot of these here are shrunk down. The Groups, Utilities, Clipboard, and View. As I hover over them, they will pop out and expand for us, showing us exactly what's in that panel. To activate a command, you simply go to the tab and then to the panel that you want, hover over the icon, and then left click on it. Now some of the commands, like the circle command, have fly out icons. You can tell because there's a little arrow here. Arc has one, and then these commands have one as well for the rectangle, for the ellipse, and for hatching. So to access the flyouts, you just click the arrow and another window will pop up showing you the other options for that command. Now there are a lot of different ways to draw a circle and these different commands in the flyout give you the ability to draw a circle in that way. Same way with an arc or with a rectangle or a polygon. Now the rectangle and polygon aren't flyouts for that specific command, but they are flyouts for similar commands that you might want to use. Now this is done because you don't always need the polygon command, but yet you want it and you want to be able to use it and so you can get to it quickly this way and it saves them some room. Now some of the panels have style managers. For example, if I go to the annotate tab and I go to the text or the dimensions or the leaders, you'll see this little diagonal arrow in the bottom right hand corner. This is the style manager for your text. This is the style manager for your dimensions, for your leaders, for your tables. So if I left click on that, it will open up the text style manager. Now there is another type of tab that will show up in the ribbon from time to time and they are called contextual tabs. These tabs are not accessible at the moment, but they will show up when a certain command is activated. These tabs will contain tools that you will not need or be able to use during your normal working conditions, but the contextual tabs have tools in it that you will need in special cases. One example is the Hatch tool. So if I go to the Home tab and I want to create a hatch, click on the Hatch command, and this will bring up the contextual tab for hatches. So as you can see, it pops up. It's kind of highlighted in blue right now, so it tells you, hey, this is where it is. Now I can go to one of these other tabs if I want to, and it's going to remain up here until I cancel out the command. This gives me all the tools and settings and options that I need to create a hatch. I can also manipulate the hatch as it's already started. 
changing some of the things in it if I'd like, or going on and creating a new one. Once you finish your command, that contextual tab will go away. As we come across these contextual ribbon tabs throughout the video, I'll make sure to point them out to you. 